everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another vlog. So in today's video, it is such an exciting video because it is actually sofa day. So my sofas are being delivered today and I am so excited. I just said it about a million times. But yeah, um, oh, I can't wait because it's actually going to make, I've been waiting for this day because it's going to make my front room actually like really nice and it's going to lay it out the way so that basically I can buy like accessories and make it look pretty after this. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited because it's the one room in my house that literally has been a bit neglected since we moved in. Like it was never styled. It just had, everything just got put in it there, you know, like just put somewhere, but it was never put in its place. So yeah, tad excited now. Um, but first of all, I've got them coming. I've got two, um, some guys coming to collect the old sofa. Um, which is really annoying that I'm doing it on the same day, but never mind. Um, they're coming to collect the sofa, which I've currently put in the garden. The cushions are in the front room. Um, so they're on their way right now, and it's currently 9 a.m. in the morning. And um, the sofa um, company said they were coming between quarter past seven and quarter past 11 this morning. Obviously, they haven't come first thing, um, but hopefully they come soon. But at the same time, I kind of need... The people that are collecting the sofas and um, the old ones to come first because and like to get it out of the way and not to come at the exact same time i'm a bit worried about that because obviously with all this social distancing and everything like when the sofa guys do come in we have to leave the room and things like that so i don't want them having to wait around for the other guys to finish taking stuff out of the garden because it'll be in the way but anyway that's just my little rubbish this morning but I'm going to show you just basically where I've put the old sofa for now and it's a bit bare in there it's a bit like we've moved again or we're moving um but yeah by the end of the day it should look really really nice so I'm so excited um so yeah let's go and show you what it's looking like now so this is the front room at the moment now that we've taken up the sofa Obviously, there's marks there, but they'll be sort of thingied out after. And look, this is um, Jonathan's weight marks because he keeps his weights in here, for, which I hate. Um, but yeah, basically, let's see, you're supposed to put them in the shed. It's annoying. So anyway, got all the cushions here ready for them to take. I'm going to pass them out to them. This is going today too because this is my t new TV unit. However, I've had a little bit of an issue with it. When I went to Ikea, I managed to pick up half of it. So like the thingy of it, um, like the shell of it, if you want to call it. But then I've had the doors that I wanted and the top. So I need to go and pick that up from another Ikea today. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a full on TV unit. But that's always fun. So we've got that to do. and I'm going to build that today as well. And then that's just, we all know what that is. That's just toys and rubbish and just rubbish. Um, it's not rubbish, actually. That's something that I still haven't unpacked. This is rubbish. Um, but yeah, we've got the sofas out here because we had to bring them out last night and just cover them um, just because just because um, we had to bring these out because obviously Jonathan's at work this morning. I couldn't pick these up on my own in case the apology came at quarter past seven this morning. And then we've got the other one here, although that was never going to be covered properly, was it? So they're waiting to go. And then, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's going to look like in here. I'm so excited. So I my sofas have arrived, and I'll show you them when I get back. But um, I basically went to Ikea yesterday, um, and I picked up my TV unit, but they never had the doors to go with it. So I've had to come to a different Ikea that do have the doors in stock. So I thought I would quickly run here now, get those. So that's where I am now. Um, and it's the first time I'm actually personally driving the courtesy car. So I don't like driving new cars. I'm one of them people. But yeah, so basically I'm going to run in here and I'm going to get the doors and stuff. Then go back and put the, um, that up and I'll show you the sofas when I get back. So yeah, running, doing a lot of running around today. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. So it is now the next day and I was rushed off my feet yesterday so I couldn't pick the camera up because I had to film another video as well and uh, it was all a bit madness. So I thought I didn't get to put up my unit, my IKEA unit yet, uh, my TV unit. So I thought I'm going to do that today anyway. So I thought well I'll just show you the sofas and all of that today. But you're going to see it in one video anyway so it doesn't make an absolute difference to you. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and show you the sofas so excited about that because they're just so nice like 
love them. So I'm going to show you them and then I'm going to park the TV unit and I need to also show you a little Ikea haul that I picked up from Ikea the other day. And yeah, so let's go and do this. Here they are. I'm so excited about this. So we've got the two-seater over here. So I have got these sofas from Sophology, for anyone that don't already know. Um, and I will in a minute find out exactly what the ones they're called because I can't remember off the top of my head now. Um, but yeah, so this is the two-seater and I've put it on this bit here. And then over here, we've got the three-seater. So we also got the full back because remember I said she was before about my old sofa, I will never get the cushion backs again just because they always end up really messy when you sit on them. So I just preferred the full back, especially with children because they'll just stay in shape a lot more. Do you know what I mean? Like they'll stay in shape. So as you can see, the main detail I love about these and wanted in a sofa was the studded effect. So they've got quite big studs on them, which I really, really love. And then the actual material is just beautiful. And I got this in the silver mix. So um, yeah, that's the color of them. And then over here, I've got this chair that I absolutely love. It's one of the reasons I fell in love with this set. Um, we might be pushing that back a bit. But look how beautiful this chair is. It's absolutely stunning. So this chair comes with this cushion, but not that one. Remember that cushion I got from the range. So yeah, so I'm not finished yet. Obviously, far from finished. Um, but this is the sofas in, and they're actually much bigger than I thought they were going to be. Um, so that's why that's over there, because that chair was originally meant to go here. And then I was meant to put my new TV unit, which is there needing to be Put up um on this wall and I thought it'd be all central and all of that but now I think we've come up with a bit of a problem um so we might try and move this about um not sure yet Jonathan said we shouldn't have got the chair but if if I'm honest with you that is the reason I bought this set so the chair is staying um but yeah his weights are still here they've got to go back in the shed but never mind about those um but yeah so this is going today and this is being put up and hopefully fingers crossed it fits somewhere so basically I think I'm gonna to have to put it on this wall which is really annoying because there's a radiator there it's really annoying because I didn't want it there and there's a window and stuff and I just didn't want it there but I'm gonna basically put it up now um so I'm doing a little time lapse of me building it and then see where I can put it because it's really nice and it just looks so much better than that TV unit well I think it will um, and yeah, I just think it looks so much better. So I've got these are the doors that I had to get yesterday in Ikea that didn't have in the other Ikea. So I had to run out and get these. So these are going there. It's a really nice unit and I just hope, and it will solve our storage problems. Like I can put toys and stuff in there. So as well as the TV stuff, you know. So yeah, really, really love that. Absolutely in love with it. Even better in person. It's beautiful. So yeah, love that. We've been here too long. I can't breathe, I can't take it slow. We're far away from home. But I can't wait to get you under my skin and right back to where we've been. Oh, nah, nah. Give me a sign and tell me when to begin. Every time we leave, I'm a longing back Back to the place where the lights go down Just you and I leaving out the rest Until I saw and I met your eyes That's why I'm 
Okay, so this is the front room, a little bit tidier. Don't mind about out there, there's a lot of mess out there that's got to go in the bin and stuff, but I've put it out there for now so I can show you the front room. Hi, there's Tinkerbell. Hello, Tinkerbell. Hello. Anyway, so we've got the sofas here. This has got to go back because I didn't do the long one of those TV units. I'll explain in a minute. But yeah, so we've got a two-seater sofa here and the three-seater here and the chair is over there. So I've just put the toy box there for now with little tinks in it. You know, darling, here you go, Jess. So here is a TV unit that you just seen me put up and I need to clean the TV, it's dusty, but these are the doors that I went for. I really liked the look of this door, it's quite modern and just it's nice to have a little bit of a different texture instead of it being just plain white. So we did originally buy the free set, but we wanted it across this wall. Now you're all probably going to think, yes, that would look much better, but however, this chair is literally huge and I've explained earlier in the video. I cannot put that anywhere else, it looks silly. So we've just decided to go for the two, and yeah, it's just got shelves and stuff in it, so I'm gonna put the Sky Q in there and stuff, and then I'm gonna put some, maybe some baskets with some toys of Harrison's in there to keep it all away and hidden. I need to get another blind for there. I also need to get some sort of curtains there and here I'm going to get some curtainy things. Again, ignore the garden, it's a mess. Um, but I'm going to get some like foil curtains, whatever, but I need to get a plaque, uh, not plaque, a bit of wood to put up there and um, yeah, just need to actually do this yet. But I'm not very, I might be okay with building furniture and that, but I'm not actually that confident with a drill and I'm definitely not that confident with a drill in my new house that doesn't have holes in it yet. So I don't want to muck it up. So I might have to get somebody else to do that. And then here again, I think I'm going to do like light voils sort of thing to make it all cosier and stuff like that. How, Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, what are you doing? So yeah, so at the moment I've got it like this. I'm thinking of putting a nice lamp here. I've got my bedroom lamp in here at the moment. It looks so cosy at night, but I'm actually going to get better things, um, like a better lamp. And then again, ignore that. So that's the door. And then over here, Isabella's been sitting on it, ruining my cushions. Yeah, so there's the sofa from that point, and there's the chair, absolutely love it, and I'm going to have a table in here with either arrangement of flowers and lights, or a lamp, and then yeah, I'll basically make it a little bit more cosier, and I also want a massive rug for here, which I'm getting tomorrow, so you'll probably see that in a newer vlog, um, but yeah, absolutely happy so far, I also need to get some lights, I've got two in here, so I need to get some light fittings for it. So yeah, very pleased with the overall look of my living room so far. And look at Tinkerbell just going all over my sofa. So yeah, very happy. Okay, so it's actually now a lot later. But I thought now was perfect time to sit down and film the IKEA haul of this video because I did pick quite a few things up. Obviously, one of the things that you would have seen already just now, which was my TV unit that I bought for my front room. Um, so that's obviously up, and you've seen that today. But yeah, I got a big old bag, and I got picked up quite a lot of goodies to be honest. So. Let's get on with it. Okay, so one of the things that I picked up was just these boxes. They're just really good. I think you get three of them. Yep, yeah, you get three of them. And they've got the click things because I just find that they're so much better um, to keep the food actually fresh. Is that the word? Then I picked up these scourers, which I've never seen scourers in um, like scrubby things and cleaning stuff in IKEA. So I was quite shocked when I saw these, but Let's be honest, I only bought them because they was grey. Grey and white. So yeah, just picked up three of those. They've got like a like microfiber bit that side and then a scrubby side and I just thought, how cool are they? And they're just sponges. But yeah, they are called the Svamp Pig. And let me just start by saying, no, I will, I will not be pronouncing these the way they're supposed to be pronounced. Then really needed... Um, to get a bit, every time I go into like Asda or anything, I'm looking for oven gloves, but I do not know what it is. In every shop, I can't find oven gloves. I literally can't find them, it's ridiculous. 
I went into Ikea and in Ikea they have like this little sort of weird looking one that looked like literally it had been washed about 50 times and returned to the store. I think it was the design of it or it's been touched a lot, I don't know. And it's old, but yeah, that's all I could find. But anyway, I got these and if I'm quite honest with you, not actually sure if they're for the purpose that I want them for. I think they are. My, well, my sister said they were, so I don't know. But the idea is to use these to get stuff out of the oven because since we've moved here, we've not had a pair of oven gloves and do you know how hot the stuff is? Like I keep burning myself, it's really annoying. Then I just picked up two of these, now what, how do you say, is it craft or crafe? Craft. Is it even crap? What's the other name of it? I don't know. Anyway, I called this a cafeteria to my sister and she was like, what do you mean you're looking for the cafeteria? <laughs> so, don't know. But I got the small ones because they never actually had the big ones. I did want the big ones, but I want these, put labels on them, do the whole fabric softener thing and unstoppables. So that was my idea for those. Then when I was in there, I picked these up. Thought they were really good for the kids. By the way, yes, they did come in a packet. And yes, my son grabbed them out straight away. Um, so I just chucked them back in to show you them. But basically, you get blue or you get pink. And they've just got the thing. Juice it in that, mate, and put them in the freezer. Pop them away. And they're good for summer. So, yeah, they're, they're really good. You get a pack of four. My sister said, because she was with me, my sister apparently said, that these are the scourers to have, not scourers, so scrubbies, scrubbies, whatever they're called. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'm here for it. Well, basically, I needed some anyway, but pack of three, should pick those up, very boring. And the other thing that I've been without for literally the whole time I've lived here is an oven tray, like um, a casserole dish, you know, ceramic one, whatever, to do pasta bakes in. I had one for years and I broke it just before I moved. I was a bit gutted about it. So I never got to bring it with me. And I kept forgetting every time I went to the shops to get one. And obviously they were meant months without going to the shop. So obviously I didn't get one. So, so, so when I was in there, I thought that this one was quite good. It's got the handles and all of that. So it's easier, good size. And it's basically just for my pasta bake. And we have legs. These are just for the unit. I didn't put the three on, did I? I didn't put the third one on so they're for them so they need to go back actually if you would have watched my organization videos of my wardrobes of the kids wardrobe well all of our wardrobes but yeah anyway i did say to you all that i couldn't wait for our gear to open just so i can get these and that is the scub boxes it is the ones the you get six of them and they're the ones that organize your drawers and stuff so i just got them in white and i thought i'll pick up two because i know i needed a lot at the time of doing my wardrobe and the kids wardrobes and drawers and I just remember thinking just get two chiffon because then you know you've got quite a lot so I think I need to put another one of, one of these in Harrison's room in his second drawer and another one of these in Isabella's room I think or it might be both in Isabella's I can't remember but I just want to pick them up anyway I picked up this and it is just the Varild 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 don't know but anyway, it is just like a bedspread blanket style throw, whatever you want to call it. And it is really, really nice. Everybody asks me, I get questions all the time about my bedding, my bedspread and my cushion covers and things like that. They are all from dusk.com. So they are on Instagram as well if you want to go over and check them out. But they are really, really nice. I got those for, as a treat actually whilst we was in lockdown because I was just ordering everything basically. But I thought, when I saw this, I thought this could be nice for, because I like a white throw. I think if you've got I don't know what it is. If you, I just think it makes the room, the bed look neater, um, and it brightens up rooms and stuff. I'm just, I'm all for white throws at the moment, basically. So I thought that this could be good for Isabella's bed because she doesn't have one yet. So picked that up. Then when I saw this, couldn't believe it because of the colour and it is uh, just a single sheet and it is for Harrison's bed. And as you know. I'm liking light blue at the moment, light blue and white in his room. So I picked that up because I did need another sheet anyway. And I did actually think of getting a blue sheet because it's only got white ones at the moment. And I just thought, get a blue one. So when I saw this, I was really happy. So I got that. And then last but not least, I then got the pillowcases to match. So obviously I've got the sheet and then I've got the two pillowcases. I think it's two. Yeah, you get two pillowcases in there. And I'm not even going to lie to you and say, I do not know where my receipt is. I'm going to need to find it because I need to take back part of the furniture, but anyway, I can't remember the price, but I'll, if 
everything that I've got here today, I'll try and link it from the website down in the description so that you know what it is that I picked up. But this one is the Zavala. Don't know how to say that. But anyway, so yeah, and that was everything of my sofas and all of that that I got to, uh, today. No, I didn't get my sofas today, I got them yesterday. But anyway, that's my living room progress so far. So obviously I've got a lot more coming up. I'm going to be doing more to this front room and the rest of the house because none of it's finished yet. Obviously I've got curtains to cut. I've got so much to do, so I can't wait to get my teeth stuck into it. But if you do like this sort of thing, then I do videos like this all the time, just so that you know. I do home decor, it's my passion. I do cleaning videos, I do organization. I do quite a lot over here. So if you do like this video, any comment, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of my sofas and my front room so far. And if you have any suggestions of what else I can do with it, along with the ideas I have, then that would be absolutely amazing. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.